Hello folks, let me get around this side of the camera so I can scare you. I mean, uh, look at the camera. Oh, there we go. Uh, we went to the Spud Valley Model Railroad Show today. And we stopped off and had breakfast first. You call that a breakfast? I was being polite. <laughs> It'll be a long time before we go back to Denny's. Oh, yeah. They're usually right on the mark, but not today. Today was not one of their better days. The waitress was very rude. The food was subpar. Cold. Or, yeah. I don't know how you can scorch the outsides of an egg. Especially when it's over easy. Or easy over as you say it. And have the white in the middle still runny. They're supposed to be solid. <laughs> anyway. At least I know what. At least I know how to cook easy over even though. You don't usually I don't do much cooking. Um, anyway, let's go talk about the train show because that's more on track. But boom, boom. Ha ha. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm gonna grab my coffee because two cups of coffee we had earlier today. One was extremely weak. What does coffee have to do with trains? It keeps you awake to run them. Don't let them get too far. <laughs> yeah, you don't want them running off the rail. We took two cameras to the train show, but only one of them was used. Uh, there was quite a bit of stuff there this year, but... I don't believe Christine found too much to her interest other than some of the collectible plates. And I'll let her touch on that. They were blue and white. Mm-hmm. That's all I noticed. Wow. Mm-hmm. You, well, you did well, tell me it was a horse-drawn rail car on there. Oh, yeah, from 1800-something. Mm -hmm. And the other one had, and a little cup had flowers on it, but that was about it. Yeah. I only liked the plate because it was blue and white. It reminded me of the Wedgwood. Mm -hmm. That's the only reason why I was looking at it. Well, you didn't even turn it over to see who made it. I, I glanced at it, but then put it back on the table. Mm -hmm. I don't even know who made it. But we did pick up some railroad equipment today. But I made sure the budget department kept me on track. And you picked up railroad equipment. Well, I tried to keep you in on it. True. Get your opinion. I'll start with the most expensive stuff we picked up The today. least expensive, sweetheart. I mean, I picked up a bag of wheels for free. O-scale wheels. In case I need to replace any. They'll come in handy. Uh, what? Well, <laughs> I'm never sure about anything, dear. Oh, good. Except for marrying you. Aw. How sweet. <laughs> then, this one guy was trying to talk me into buying a locomotive at his table. A uh, set of undecorated locomotives he wanted a little over a hundred bucks for, and I didn't have that kind of cash to spend. If I knew that Christine might spot something like her uh, uh, Thomas Kincaid cars, which there was a set of, but not at the not at the uh, train show this year. But he did finally clearing his table. 
offer me three cars for 40 bucks. One of them is an old antique kit that has wood parts and blueprint style uh, instructions for a craft cheese and mac mayonnaise car and I'm not even sure if it has the date on the on the uh, instructions here uh, good grief uh, no but it gives the address of the Lacona Industries Inc. 1700 East Roosevelt, Stockholm, California. Stockton, Stockton California. Stockton, California. Well, it depends on how old that box is because yeah. they might have moved. Yeah. That's a very deep possibility. But, I mean... This is an old wood and aluminum kit. A train car made out of wood. Oh, yes. Alrighty. Yes. Must it, be old. It's not exactly brand new. Uh, I don't even find a date on the box. It's a uh, Lacona HO car kit billboard reefer. And I don't even know if they're still in business. And I can always look on the internet later. This one here had two cars in it. One of them unbuilt and one of them built. The one that's built, I believe, to be a roundhouse or a Athern kit and it's got some knuckle couplers on it and this one here is a blueprint series 50 foot plug door box car standard and Garnix style. Kits by Branch Line Trains. Blueprint series. Plug door box cars. Yeah. And I picked both both up for 40. No. Not, not this one. This one here was uh, 10. 10 for these three cars. The next, okay. next batch. <laughs> next batch is what I picked up for 40. Because it had an old scale car in there. Let me get this back in the box. empty. <laughs> Let's start with the old scale car. Ah, if I can get it untangled from the plastic sack. I believe it to be a Lionel. It's not marked. Well, yeah, it is on the site. Lionel. Built in 76. So they say. It's a Santa Fe Ship by ship and travel Santa Fe all the way is the logo on there. Plug door sides. In other words, you can't open the doors. And it seems to be in real good shape. Hasn't been run all that much. No wear on the wheels. So I'm going to set that off to the side. 
would have to run it a lot in order for it to show wear on the wheels, though. Well, I've got some that I've had that shows wear on the wheels. <sighs> of course, I run mine every once in a while. Pretty you got to show me. Show me. I didn't, looks like I didn't know you were from Missouri. Show me. The show me state? Yeah, yeah, I know. And this one here is a Athern Blue Box Christmas car. And it's got the knuckle couplers on there, or KDs, or whatever you want to call them. And these two were the $40 that I... Ah. This last car was the cheapest of the bunch. And she's bored, oh, five dollars, I should say, not five dollars, five dollars for the car, a dollar for the couplers, but it was one of the ones that you could run as the tank car or just run the frame as a log car. I'm debating on leaving it as the tank car because I don't have, well, I don't have any uh, thing for setting up a logging railroad at this time. And, it, and the weight of the metal center beam gives the car a decent amount of weight keep it on the rails. Alrighty, but yeah, uh, one of our friends at the door uh, told, told us that his wife uh, told us hi. She couldn't be there this year, but it was like they knew we'd be there. So, well, no wonder because you go every year. <laughs> I'm I'm sort of like uh, one of the regulars. In fact, some of the dealers uh, recognize me this year. <laughs> I always go because I have to be your GPS. Well, not all the time because for a while they were. Well, true. At the hotel. At the hotel. There. And we know exactly where that's at. Yeah. It's right across the way from where we work. It wasn't that hard to find. But uh, this year they moved it to the fairground, uh, Fargo Fairgrounds, and a certain building, and we needed to know where it was at. And I'm not much for technology when it comes to the phones <laughs> and things like that. I wonder why. <laughs> it's more difficult than a muzzle loader. No comment. Anyway, well, anything else you'd like to add to this little video, hon? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. As as you can tell, I drug her into this video, kicking and screaming. Well, thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll make more videos for you. Bye, bye.